Hey, what's good with my Taurus people? Going to go ahead and knock your reading out for November. Going to go ahead and knock it out for November. Still not doing personal readings. I get hit with that time and time again, day in and day out. I will announce when that opens up. But for now, if you want to tip the tarot guy, donate to the channel and help out a little bit, the information for that's in the description. And I greatly appreciate everybody who tips and donates. It helps more than you know, I promise you. More than you know. Anyway, also like my Facebook page if you want to see some um, video content, you know, outside of tarot. Uh, mo most of that's going to be going on Facebook. That's in uh, the description as well. So let's go ahead and get right into it. Try to babble as little as possible and knock this out. What's good with Taurus, universe? Two more shuffles, please. Put these in order for Taurus. Let's get an external and an internal energy for Taurus, please. One and two. The first card is how people see you. The second card is how you really feel on the inside, okay? First card is how people are perceiving Taurus. The second card is how Taurus really feels on the inside. Ooh, five of wands, five of wands. So people may be perceiving you like, like look, Taurus ain't playing no games. I better not cross them. I better not cross Taurus because like, uh, I kind of feel like maybe it's like, look, the year is almost over. It's, it's like turning its last couple pages of 2018 and you're like, I got some shit to do. Like I got goals on my mind. I got things I got to accomplish. And I, you may have felt like you've been like a little bit stagnant. You know what I'm saying? Like kind of like sitting in one spot. And uh, I'm going to take this as the uh, internal energy walking away from something. So definitely I feel like uh, people are perceiving you as, um, you know, somebody who will fight. Like, I don't want to cross Taurus. I'm not like, I don't want to get in their good graces. I don't want to get on their bad side. But the reason being, I feel like you kind of walked away from something. There may have been some type of, uh, may have been, you know, take it how it resonates. You could have walked away from a love situation, a job, uh, could have could have cast a family member out, you know what I'm saying, and stopped talking to them. Just, just however it resonates. But there's something in there that you walked away from. I feel like it was holding you stagnant. Holding you stagnant for quite some time. And now, now you're like, look, no, uh, I've been putting, putting these things off, putting these goals off for a little bit too long, and now I ain't playing. Stay the hell out of my way. You understand what I'm saying? So anyway, let's go ahead and get some past energies for you. Let's get some past energies for Taurus. Get some past energies, just so we can paint this picture here. I know this is the most annoying line, you know, but uh, anyway, Ace of Pentacles in the past, so there was something, hang on, I'm going to get something to play off that before I speak on it. Ace of Pentacles and the King of Cups. Well, hang on, hang on. One more card. <laughs> Still very, very vague. And the King of Wands reversed. Okay, all right. So I definitely see, um, I don't know. See, Taurus, I, you're typically not the type of person. It takes you an awful lot to get knocked off balance. You know what I'm saying? Um, but I definitely sensed that in the past. So... Whatever this is, it could have been a job, it could have been a relationship, family, however it resonates. Take it however it fits you. But um, there was somebody I kind of feel like who was a little bit persistent and uh, kept, like I said, kept you kind of stagnant for a while. It's just what I feel uh, right here. And um, it kind of knocked you off balance. Kind of knocked you a little bit off balance with this King of Cups right here and the, uh, it's the King of Wands reversed. So um, you definitely uh, were... Kind of feeling in your element and trying to keep things smooth and, and playing along. And there, there was just this imbalance there. Right back to back. King of Cups upright, then King of Wands reversed. It started taking like a nasty turn. You know what I'm saying? Like in the past. And you started losing the passion and just kind of like, yeah, let's go ahead and let's see what else here. Yeah, you released yourself from it. You definitely released yourself from it. But the Page of Wands is right here too. Like I said, I feel like you were d dealing with somebody who's just a little bit persistent. And you being very, very patient, Taurus, I kind of feel like you were willing to work with this person or whoever this was or whatever this was, you were willing to work. But it kind of like, the way this is laid out right here, it just kind of feels like it kept you stuck in one spot for a little bit. Kept you stuck in one spot for a little bit. And um, now you, you kind of released yourself. Kind of released yourself from it, but it's still, I kind of feel like uh, this may be somebody young and immature who's still just coming back. You know what I'm saying? Coming back keeps like, Coming back and, and, and trying again. or I know that sounds very gentle, but just uh, take that how it fits, please. And um, I definitely feel like you're, you're feeling like walking away from it, definitely. And uh, 
Yeah, you ain't playing no games now, though. So let's go ahead and uh, see what's going on with you presently. Two more shuffles for the present moment for Taurus Universe, please. One and two. Ten of Pentacles. Ten of Pentacles. So, uh... I'm going to get one more card to play off of that. Ten of Pentacles and the Queen of Cups. Yeah, again, I feel like presently you're a little bit pissed off. A little bit pissed off. You know what I'm saying? Because you have, like I said, you got these goals in mind. You got, you have a life of your own, okay? And I kind of feel like there was something that was putting things on hold for you for a while. Putting things on hold for you for a while. And now, like I said, in the past, you were basically, you were the King of Cups, the upright. But then... Like I said, King of Wands reversed along with the Four of Pentacles reversed in the past, followed by the Page of Wands. I just kind of feel like there was somebody who was kind of like dirt jerking at you and just holding you in one spot for a while. Do you know what I'm saying? So uh, right now you just you're not in the best of moods. You're not in the best of moods. I mean, things may be good. Things may be very very good, but uh, uh, this is this is what you're working for right now. You're either working for it and have already accomplished it, and uh, are just getting kind of impatient with the progress. Or um, you you are still working on on you know getting all ten pinnacles lined up and getting everything looking good. You know what I'm saying? And and you're you're getting you're in a bit of a bad mood. I feel like you're kind of not not too uh, happy about the way things are going. But uh, I know that's very general, very general and strange. Let's go ahead and get a few more cards. I'm just shuffling at random whenever whenever intuition tells me to shuffle. So. There's one. World reversed. Yeah, like I said, something's still a little bit incomplete. The Ace of Cups just showed itself to me. If it's meant to be in the reading, it will come back out, I promise you. Uh, okay, Nine of Pentacles reversed. So there's something that's left just a little bit incomplete, and I kind of feel like that's what's... I just... Like I said, I if it wasn't for that Five of Wands up there as being the way people perceive you, and then the Eight of Cups being your internal energy... Then the, the rest of the reading probably wouldn't be coming out this way, but I'm definitely sensing something was put off for too long, and it had to do with you giving your energy to a person or a situation that was like not really able to be fixed, and it was causing you like some impatience, like God damn it, here they come again. You know what I'm saying? Like I got to work on this with this person again, you know? And and uh, right now the world's reversed. There's still something incomplete. That wasn't completed. I think it's this. I think it's this that you're still working on. You're still working on getting all ten pinnacles lined up in a row. But right now, you're you're not really feeling like you can do it. You're the nine of pinnacles reversed. Okay, uh, and I, I feel that way because you like hmm, it's so hard to explain. So hard to explain. But uh, you're feeling like the nine of pinnacles reversed. Feeling like the nine of pinnacles reversed. Because like I said, this ten of pinnacles right here. I knew it when it came out. Is what you're working towards. That's your goal, and it's being held up by whatever this is. And uh, you're not playing no games, like I said. Yeah, I, I kind of feel like you're. I kind of feel like you had to abruptly shut somebody out with this uh, Eight of Wands reversed right here, and just kind of like stop talking to somebody, cut communication out, or at least just like yeah. I don't know. It's. Let me see who you're dealing with. I'm a little, slightly confused. Not too terribly bad, but. I am wondering about this just a little bit, Taurus. Let's see uh, who you're dealing with. What person, situation, external to Taurus that has the biggest influence on this reading. Two more shuffles. Here's one and two. The Magician. <laughs> the Magician. And the Knight of Swords reversed. So, again, I feel like there's not... A, this person, again, I think is just very in and out. Very, like, uh, in the moon reverse. Yeah, very, very in and out. And maybe, like, the the, the closed-off manipulative type who just kind of likes to tug at you and, and basically come at you when, when they need something, you know, is what I'm feeling off of this line right here. Like, And, by the way, again, cross-watchers, I read from the signs perspective. I'm not going to keep saying that. I get cross watchers sometimes. You get in here and get all mad about how I read. Uh, I'm reading from the signs perspective. So uh, basically, I, d I definitely feel like this person, Taurus, uh, is somebody who just uh, comes in and out 
Yeah, strength reversed. Could be dealing with a Leo possibly or Pisces, but um, I just feel like they're kind of like a, a an individual that doesn't really have much of a stable foundation. So uh, you're really, really trying to help them, but they're just too in and out and too flaky. Too in and out and too flaky and, and, and just kind of like you feel like they're playing games. Yeah, they're getting a little bit tired of this too. Um, and this, this very well may be, you know, how they're feeling now that you've just kind of like started cracking the whip on them. Basically, you know what I'm saying? Like, nah, man, fuck this. You know what I'm saying? I've been like putting all my stuff on hold all year long. And now I've wasted all this damn time on you. And I'm not playing no games now. You know what I'm saying? It's, it's, it's my, my, my due date for my goals is coming up. You know what I'm saying? It's almost 2019. I had shit I wanted to do this year. And I've been too busy messing with your goofy ass. Is what I'm feeling off of that. You know what I'm saying? So, anywho, let's go ahead and get another line for this particular individual or individual's situation. Again, take it how it resonates. Could be at work. Could be your family. Could be your lover. Could be whatever. Take that however it resonates. I'm not getting too specific about that part. Okay, Seven of Swords. <laughs> Again, with that moon in reverse, I feel like this is a deceptive person, or at least you you definitely feel like they're very deceptive, like they're just sneaky, and they just come in and out, basically, and, and you know, put butter on your biscuit when they... And uh, when they when they want something, you know what I'm saying. So uh, you're getting a little bit impatient. I feel I definitely see it. And now they got the five of swords. Definitely showing some conflict there. Definitely showing some conflict. But the thing about the five of swords is the five of swords is like betrayal. Okay, is betrayal, defeat at all cost. So yeah, let that speak for itself there. But they also got the five of cups right here too. Five of cups. I think they're. Uh, your attitude, your choice, uh, like I said, I think you felt like you either felt like walking away or they, at least you're giving them that impression. Like, look, I'm just about to walk away. And, and they feel all five a cuppy about it. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? But they got the temperance right here, too. Oops. They got the temperance right here, too. So uh, uh, they could be patient. Could be patiently awaiting. Oh, man, Taurus is all mad. I got to wait for him to calm down. You know, I got to wait for Taurus to calm down before I can come in and keep playing this game. <laughs> we'll get one more oh never mind that card was like doing a dance in my hand so the ten of swords um i kind of feel like it's over though i kind of feel like uh in a sense they feel like it's over you know they feel like i really 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 gotta wait around and and i'm gonna be patient with taurus and wait until they calm down before i can come back in and 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 do my little thing but then you know there's this thing inside of them that's like man it's just like over now i think you know what I'm saying? Like, it. Anywho, let's see what timelines you're headed towards. I'm going to try to expand on the future timelines just a little bit better. Let's see what timelines Taurus is headed towards. Where's the situation going? What's the most likely outcome according to where the energy is set in the moment? Two more shuffles, universe, please. One and two. Let's see what timelines you're headed towards. Hope it's something good, Taurus. Please tell me Taurus reaches their goals this year. I hope so. Nine of Swords reversed, yeah. You're like, basically it's like I'm not even worrying about this anymore. I don't have time. I got things to do. Page of Swords reversed. There could be some stalking going on. Somebody could be like keeping an eye on you. You could be keeping an eye on them. You know, take it however it resonates. But there's definitely some watchful eyes, uh, you know, coming into the future. You know, there's definitely, like I said, communication is getting cut off. And, uh there's not really going to be any, any, any intermingling with this person or situation right here, but somebody's like, you know, peeping, peeping, you know what I'm saying? Like on Facebook or Instagram, probably Facebook, you know what I'm saying? It's trying to dig up dirt or something like that. Who knows? You know, take it how it fits, but anywho, that's uh, definitely what's uh, where it's headed, I feel. Uh, three of Wands reversed. Three of Wands reversed. Let me get another one to uh, clarify that. And the Three of Pentacles. Three of Pentacles. That's a little bit confusing. I'm definitely seeing teamwork coming from somewhere. Uh, the star in the reverse. Um, 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 um. Let's go ahead and grab some of these black and white cards to see, just to clarify a couple of these future. I definitely see, like, in the future, you're not really seeing this as an out, uh, an option, really. Okay, you could be dealing with an Aquarius or, or whatever it is. You just don't really have, there's just no clarity. You don't really even understand what the, what, what, Hmm. What's what's that three of pentacles all about right there? What's that three of pentacles all about? 
I don't want to speak yet until I get... Oh, because of the Six of Cups reversed. Because of the Six of Cups reversed. So I definitely... Uh, hmm. There's definitely here... And the Four of Pentacles reversed. Okay, so I definitely feel like in the future, what you're, ba what you're really, really doing, you're working on this. You're working on this, okay? Because right now, what you're feeling like is the nine of nine of pentacles reversed. So communication gets cut off, basically, because there is no faith in this situation. And there, there isn't even really any clarity. You don't even really understand. Because like I said, I feel like this person's very, very closed off about all the wrong things. And you feel like you're not getting a full, um, a full, you know what I'm saying? You're not getting the, the, the full picture of what their true intentions are. And you just really, really, really don't trust it. And there's no clarity there. So I feel like just kind of as a result of, uh, you're just releasing yourself. You got all these nasty memories and you're working on releasing yourself and probably just burying your head in your work, burying your head in your work in the future. You know, that's, I kind of feel like that's where you're going, going into December, because like I said, you got 10 pinnacles to get right now. You're the nine of pinnacles reversed. And you got this 10th pinnacle to work for before 2018's up. So right now you ain't even got no time for anxiety and stress and, and all that. What's that page of swords reverse for? Who's doing the stalking here? Let's see if it can tell me who. It might not tell me who, but it might get a, a, a clear picture as to what it's all about. Justice. Justice. And King of Wands. <coughs> So I definitely feel like this may be you, Taurus. And uh, again, stalking doesn't necessarily have to be a bad thing. It can be. I mean, you 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 could be like keeping an eye on them just just for little gossip, you know. But I think the vast majority of you are just going to keep a watchful eye on this person from a distance, you know, to make sure just just to see, hey, is this person even worth working with anymore? Because there's some kind of strong connection here with this person that's just not really working out, or individual, or, or situation, or people, or whatever. But uh, you're 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 checking them out to make sure that they're are they making the the, the right judgments. Um, you know, I really care about this person. I really feel like you have a lot of passion for this person. This is somebody that uh, is really close to you. It could be family, anybody. And uh, you're just keeping a watchful eye for right now. You're pretty much cutting them out in the future, and just going to keep a watchful eye and just see how they handle themselves, basically. Because you do want to come in and help them, but uh, they, they really hold you back, if that makes any sense. Uh, so I hope that was a good reading for you for November, Taurus. I really hope it was. Um, anyway, I'm probably not going to be able to do any more readings today. I was supposed to do two, but uh, I ended up having to do a bunch of other videos, and now I'm completely drained. But I will see you on uh, the weekly weekend forecast. I'm sorry. So uh, I'm going to get out of here. You guys have a good one.